Hey, Jeff, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I, I guess we talked a lot last offseason just about your size, strength, maybe what you're looking to do going into the season. What, what have you kind of focused on this offseason, you know, to get yourself ready and how you're feeling here uh, as you wrap up OTAs? First off, man, I'm happy to be back. Um, I'm feeling good. Probably the best I've ever felt, you know, I probably said this last time, but, you know, coming off the two seasons I just had, uh, rookie year and the second year, going into this third year, probably the best I've ever felt, you know, body-wise, mentally, you know, just getting prepared for this season, you know. Um, you know, I, I know that they expect a lot of out of us up front, not just um, me, but up front, you know. But, you know, I know they expect a lot out of me, you know, personally. You know, I, I'm accepting that role coming in. Looking to have a great year, you know, whatever I can do to help the team win. And, you know, every down, every snap, giving my all, trying to be disruptive. But this all season, I've just been working on, you know, trying to keep my weight down, you know, um, you know changing um, my uh, eating habits a little bit different. We're just trying to maintain and, you know, get leaner. And, um, you know, I think I did a great job of that, especially coming in this all season, you know, first week, first month of working out, kind of did a lot of functional movement and what, what may be. And then, you know, everything there just fell in line, you know. <clears throat> like I said, I've been feeling the best I've felt in a while, so. Well. Hey, Jeff, uh, is this your first week of working with Danico? And what are your early impressions of him? How much can his presence help you? Well, uh, of course, this is my first week working out with him, um, you know, especially on the field. You know, um, see him twice a year for the last two um, years that I've been with the Titans. And. You know, I just know he he could be disruptive. You can you could tell from the way he get off the ball, the way he's doing drills. You know, he out there even coaching me up, you know, telling me, you know, just play with the length. Um, you know, not, don't let the guy get a hands on you, stuff like that. You know, him being a vet in the room and, you know, just taking the coaching from him, not just, you know, Coach T or whoever it may be. But, you know, being the vet that he is, um, you know, he out there coaching up young guys. And, you know, I think that's the most exciting part about it. You know, just OTAs, him coming in. You know, you don't really know nobody, but he willing to, you know, pour what he know about the game, especially up front to us young guys. So, I mean, it's been good just to watch him and be out there on the field to communicate with him. I think it's going to be a great year up front with us. So, Kayla? Hey, Jeff, good to see you. Uh, we've talked yeah. to some of the, the veterans on the team, Kevin Byard, talked to Jayon Brown the other day. Uh, what's just the mentality of this this defense as a whole going in with kind of what's on your shoulders to take it up a, a couple levels from last year on um, learning from some of those those mistakes? Yes, for sure. You know, we always want to be better than we was the year before, the day before. You know, that's, that's kind of something what we break it down on. You know, let's be better than what we was the day before. I think with that mindset that, you know, we had coming in, you know, just even on the Zoom, you know, you can hear guys talking. You know, I know a lot of guys expecting more out of the defense, you know, not just from the coaches, but because, you know, leadership is about leadership come from within the team. And, you know, if it's getting led by, you know, KB, JM, Rashawn, whoever it may be up front, whoever, you know, it could be a young guy, whoever taking that role to be a leader, you know, pushing the defense to be the best we could be and to help out this team to win games and, you know, the game, win games going to turn to win the championship and so far on. And, and I think the mindset of, you know, to be able to compete at a more higher level, you know, be better on third down, whatever it may be. I think with the mindset we have right now and the approach we're taking, I think we're going in the right direction right now. So. Terry. Jeff, follow up on that. Uh, has it been difficult uh, individually and as a group to kind of take ownership of what happened last year and how much additional motivation is it to try and fix what went wrong last year? Well, you know, I think that's one of the things we look at as a team, you know, and not just, you know, just the D-line room, you know, because um, I think as a defense we looked at, we don't look at just, oh, we didn't have no pass rush. We don't look at, you know, guys getting beat over top, or guys getting beat, whatever it may be. We look at how can we, you know, get the pieces together on defense and put the best guys on the field to help us be better this year. You know, I don't think we focus on what happened last year, you know, because we can't change that. All we can focus on, how can we be better this year, you know, first and second down to help us on third down, whatever it may be. And, um, and I think that's the, the goal now. I think, as you guys know, I mean, it's kind of the reason why we added a lot on defense to help us 
you know, put the best guys on defense on, on the field to help us be better on the field, um, you know, whatever the situation may be. So I don't think we just focused on last year. I think this year we're taking that step. You know, since we've been here for, with OTAs, how can we be better each and every day to get ready for the season? We're on. Yeah, Jeff, knowing the additions that you guys have made, you know, especially looking at Bud Dupree, uh, how much does that help just the pass rushing culture and help some of the things you guys could do as far as stunts and games up front? You know, we just – I know um, we just don't do stunts a game, you know. I think with the thing about our defense, you know, we – I don't – you know, we never know what may be happening. You know, we, we never know coming to the game, whatever the game situation may be. I know – that our coach is going to be able to put us in a situation, whatever it may be, if we're in a game, are we going, you know, one-on-one or, you know, going straight rushing, you know. I think we – that's the reason why, you know, Bud decided, you know, I know he's going to he'll disrupt the player. He's going to come out there and give it all he got. And, uh, you know, it's just not going to be Bud, you know, because sometimes Bud might get two. It's going to be other guys going to have them one-on-ones, you know, whoever, you know, we got to be able to win on one-on-one, that's what I'm trying to say. So, you know, whoever it may be up front, you know, you know, me, Harold, um, you know, you got Bud, you got um, D'Amico. Like I said, them pieces that we got together on defense, we've been working together this OTA period. You know, we're just trying to see and feel out of each other just to see how, how we're going to be able to communicate, how can we communicate with each other better this year than we did last year. So, I mean, I'm excited for the guys we got, and I think, you know, it'll be much better this year, so. Teresa. Uh, Jeff, you mentioned uh, changing what you eat a little bit. How have you gone about? Are you have you cut out fast foods, or are you eating more poultry? Or have you gone vegan? Uh, what is it that you've done to try to help yourself there? No, nah, I haven't went vegan. I don't think that's for me. I, that's not for me. I, I couldn't do it. I need to have a um, you know some of the protein, you know, chicken or something. But you know, it just it just clean it up. You know, even when I want you know like a snack or something. It's not going to get Doritos and something like that. It's more like a healthier snack, you know, shakes, more shakes. And, um, you know, just cutting out a lot of carbs, you know, because I think, you know, when I eat a lot of carbs, it kind of sticks on me a little bit. And you know, I've just been cutting out a lot of stuff like that, you know, my time and, you know, try to eat every day around the same time, try to keep, uh, you know, staying on schedule, whatever it may be. And um, that's pretty much what it was. Not just, you know, you know, a lot of guys like might probably going to die, you know, I, don't go on a diet. It's kind of, I just call it, you know, changing my habits the way I eat. And like I said, don't really eat uh, fast food no way. So, I mean, just a small little detail, like I said, with, you know, not eating bad snacks, I, I think, and uh, cutting off the carbs. Teresa? 